morning. Um, I like just woke up and it is not even 7 a.m. yet, but I need to live. It's Tuesday, May 9th, and you know, I'm here. We're back for another weekly vlog. It's gonna be fun. Hi. So, yeah, I know I already was like, hey, it's Tuesday and all of that stuff, and you know, it is, but honestly. Like, it's a good day, <laughs> you know? It, it's one of those mornings where it started off and I kind of felt like crap, but like, it's a good day. And I got a comment on, uh, not yesterday's video, but last week's video. So, yeah, it's not even 9 and it is sunny, like there is not a cloud in the visible sky right now. It is so pretty. I'm just like, I'm living, all right? I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Um, yeah, you can probably tell this is starting a lot differently from last week's vlog, which I'm about to upload after I respond to this person's comment. Because I, I just like, I woke up and I didn't feel good, but then I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna take a shower. The sun was shining, and I was like, yeah. And that's what I like about this time of year, is it kind of, like, forces you to be a morning person, because it's, like, it's as bright as though it was 10.30 right now, and it's not even 9, and I'm living for it. It makes me feel like I'm procrastinating, even though I'm not. Time to hit upload. Sleepy cutie. So cute. Hey, so it is Wednesday. Okay, so this last weekend was like super rainy and that was awful and made it cold, but also it made it so that there wasn't so much um pollen. And now there's just sun and so much pollen and it's like making it really hard to breathe. And in case you didn't know, when you don't have a lot of oxygen in your body, your brain works kind of slow. So I'm just like really tired. And I still haven't recorded Friday's video. Um, should probably get on that, but um, yeah. I'm gonna try to do it today. Okay. If you don't know, then you know now. Um, one of my goals for this month is to work on editing the Gender Fluid Club. And I read this thing that was like, if you're going to edit a book, you should rewrite it. Like, d don't touch it up. Rewrite it. And I was like, uh, and for Rosemary and Juliet, I couldn't really do that because I'm sorry, but I, I don't have the time to rewrite um, 63 chapters. Sorry. <laughs> but... 38 or so chapters, on the other hand, is a little bit more thinkable, so I was like, yeah, I'll rewrite the Gender Fluid Club. And I, in two days, got 18 pages written, right? That's a lot. And the file deleted itself from my computer, firstly. What? <laughs> ah. So the file deleted itself, and I was like, okay, yeah, but OneDrive does this thing where it, like, auto saves like there's auto recovery files so I was like yeah I'll just find that there was no auto recovery file <laughs> what so I have to basically redo all of the past couple of days work I'm pissed <laughs> I don't have that kind of time <laughs> Okay, like, the school year is closing up, and sure, after this week, I'll be done with two of my classes. And, like, by the end of this month, I'll be done with three of my classes. But look. It, no. This was a goal for this month. Th this month. Not next month. This month. Which means I want to be done with it by May 31st. Okay? <laughs> I can't deal with deleting files right now. No! Ugh, it's Thursday. And it's almost 11 and I've only just barely been awake. If you can't tell, I'm sick. Out of nowhere. I, I don't know how that happened. <clears throat> like, I figured it was just allergies, 
but you know, when you're taking three medicines and have an inhaler just in case, it's not just allergies anymore if it's still bad. But I think I had like an allergic reaction to the cold medicine I took. Is that a thing? Can you have an allergic reaction to cold medicine? <sighs> so basically, my plans for today are to, um, well, my first plan, or the first thing on my list of things to do, was to watch the History of Everything I Guess video, which, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's still trending on YouTube by whatever day it is. Basically, History of Japan guy made another video, and it was real good. And, like, twice as long. <laughs> I'm going to continue watching videos on YouTube until the one class I'm required to go to. I'm going to go to my class, try to pay attention, even though I'm suffering, and then I'm going to either lay back down or make a video. And technically, I should make a video. I feel uncomfortably dedicated. I don't want to miss tomorrow's video. So, I'm feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday, which is good. Um, I think I had an allergic reaction to Dayquil, though. I might have said that yesterday, but I don't remember most of what happened yesterday. Uh, anyways, I didn't get around to uploading the vlog about me versus traits yesterday, and I definitely did not get around to recording that video. And I figure I'm still kind of feeling soggy in the brain, so I'm not going to, um, I don't know. I'm going to do a lot of school this weekend because of everything I haven't done, but I am going to make and upload today's video, so that's happening. <laughs> no more procrastinating. I don't know why this video looks like so difficult to make. I feel like it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, uh, I don't really want to, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's the end. I made, edited, and uploaded that video in an hour and a half. Pretty nice. I'm so tired though, like, doing that drained whatever was left of me. And my voice is still really raw from, um, probably from all the coughing to be honest, but, ugh. I only just ate something and it's like after three. I just do not feel good. Ugh. You know, like the after sick sickness where it's like you're not blowing your nose as much anymore or anything like that, but you still feel crappy. That's where I'm at. An ice cream truck playing Christmas music. You wanna go give him a piece of your mind? He's right across the street right now. Fight me! What is this? It's May! No! Why? And this is Silent Night. I know. <laughs> oh, it's Monday. I'm so tired. Which is stupid. So basically, yesterday I fell asleep. At like 4 30 in the afternoon i slept until 6 30 this morning so next week's vlog by the way comic-con stuff so you know it's it's gonna be focused around that like there will still be stuff from the rest of the week but i want to really focus it on comic-con and i think i know who's gonna be there like in my group i obviously know who's gonna be at comic-con it's motor city comic-con 2017 if you want to know who's gonna be there then like i don't know freaking google it but it's gonna be exciting and i'm gonna be there with some pals it'll be good and um some vlog worthy material so yeah Okay, so today's video was a lot more emotional to make than I was expecting it to be. Um, as opposed to last week's being a 
poem kind of that I wrote and I was like oh you know this is me this is me in my raw state and I'm about to share that with the internet I don't know how I feel turns out <laughs> something I'm even more emotional about than myself are statistics <laughs> because this is basically discussing some of the facts of teenage mental mental health which obviously is very close to me on a personal level but it's not just me, you know? It's it's people that I know, it's people that I've heard of, all of this stuff, and it all just kind of piles together, and it's like... Crap. I did not realize I would be so emotional about it, yet here we are. Um, basically, a lot of it is suicide statistics and self-injury statistics, as well as the amount of people who deal with um, depression and anxiety, and it's sort of set up as like a letter to parents, even though I know parents probably won't watch it. But I actually almost cried making it, and I was like, crap. I had to take out a lot of the personal anecdotes that was originally going to be in it, because I was like, I can't. I will start bawling if I make that the centerpiece of the video, so I just kind of tried to stick to the facts, and it was hard. It was, it was hard to make. You know what? This vlog just got serious with that last thing, so we're gonna do a book haul. Mm -hmm. So my birthday was recent, you know, last week, but I've been just seeing some people, and so I want to show you something. So firstly, I got the next book. I know it's like the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. I haven't actually started it yet, but everyone says it's so good. I got the next Trials of Apollo book, which I also have not started. Ah, I have a reading list and they just haven't come up yet, but yeah, I got that from my grandparents. Okay, uh, I also got Looking for Alaska. I got Connor Franta's new book, Note to Self. I do not have a work in progress, I am ashamed to say, but you know, I'm really excited about this because it's like poetry. It's poetry. And I've been getting like really into writing poetry lately, and I was just like, Connor, inspirational queen. What book was it? I forgot. Oh, it was Paper Towns. I'm like, what book did I get? Paper Towns. Yes. And so that is everything that is on this bookshelf. I will put that back later. <laughs> and now come with me to my room to see the last book falling on. Welcome to Up in my room. I'm standing on this cat thing. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Tiny Groot and Tiny Dan and Tiny Phil. I got a second copy of the amazing book is not on fire. And because it's a second copy, I decided it belonged next to Tiny Dan and Tiny Phil. There's Tiny Gerard Way. I love this shelf. It's my favorite shelf. Just like, yay! So yeah, that was my book haul. I have new books. Yay! I've reached- I've always been at that age, but like, I've reached that age where people are okay with just getting me books for my birthday. Oh man. So yeah. Shout out to my mom's friend. For getting me three books. Shout out to Swigata for getting me Note to Self. Thanks, Bay. Shout out to Olivia for getting me a second copy of the best book ever written, which is Tabin Off. And bless you, thank you, I love you. Always. Yeah, and my grandparents for getting me The Dark Prophecy. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's just to make this less depressing. <laughs> Hey, so I'm about to put up my video from yesterday, yeah, so check that out somewhere like here I would say, um, you should subscribe, check out my prom video and also last week's vlog, and hey, subscribe. <laughs> Wait, I said subscribe to my main channel up here, right? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine. Follow that.